Epic of Remnant 2 has been announced, but we still have two major servants left to cover. Hello everyone, Soberoni of GNA Reviews here, and in today's spotlight we'll be covering Caldia's number one CEO, the Berserker of El Dorado. We'll be examining her stats and skills, as well as going over pointers on how to utilize her effectively and an overall grade comparing her to how she stacks up to the other 4 star servants. Now, on to Berserker stats. Berserker has a max HP of 10,175 and a max attack of 10,502, which is actually 11,552 due to her class modifier. Even compared to the other 4 star Berserkers, Eldorado Berserker has abysmally low HP, but thankfully her attack stat makes up for this as she is second only to Herc himself. This pattern is the same when compared to the general pool of 4 stars as well. Eldorado Berserker packs extremely low HP for a 4 star in exchange for extremely high attack. She is the definition of glass cannon. Taking a look at her skills, her first skill is Charisma Rank B. It increases the attack of all allies for 3 turns between 9 and 18% depending on level. Her second skill is Golden Rule Beauty Rank A. It applies Nullified Debuff to herself for 3 turns and also increases her NP gauge per turn for 3 turns between 10 and 20% depending on level. And finally her last skill is Howl of the War God Rank A+. It increases the Buster Card effectiveness of all allies for 3 turns between 10 and 20% and increases her own damage against men of Greek mythology for 3 turns between 50 and 100% both depending on level. As for her passives, she has Madness Enhancement Rank EX which increases her Buster Card effectiveness by 12% and Divinity Rank B which applies damage plus 175 to all her attacks. Moving on to her deck and Noble Phantasm, Berserker has a Buster deck with Quick Arts Buster 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 and a Buster Noble Phantasm. Her Noble Phantasm is Outrage Amazon. It deals significant damage to a single enemy with between a 600 and 1000% damage modifier and it decreases their attack for 3 turns between 10 and 30% depending on overcharge. Taking a closer look at her cards, we see that her quick card hits 3 times, her arch card hits twice, her buster card hits twice, and her extra attack hits 5 times. She has an NP gain rate of 1.07% and a star rate of 4.9%. This is surprisingly good NP gain for a berserker, mostly thanks to that 5 hit extra card, but still very poor star generating as is the case for most berserkers. The Berserker of El Dorado is more than just a pretty faced waifu, she earns those sexy abs. She packs a colossal attack stat even by Berserker standards. In fact, the only thing more intimidating than El Dorado Berserker's attack is how well her kit synergizes with it. Nearly every element of her skill set revolves around making her hit harder starting with a tremendous passive in Madness Enhancement EX, which gives her a free passive 12% damage buff to nearly her entire deck and Noble Phantasm. This stacks very nicely and evenly with her first skill, Charisma. Charisma gives a party-wide 18% attack buff, which on its own may not seem like much, but the short cooldown and high uptime of the skill make it very effective. Speaking of high uptime damage buffs, Eldorado has more than just Charisma. Howl of the War Guide is her other buff skill. This skill buffs the whole party's buster card effectiveness by 20% for 3 turns. And it also grants her a gigantic buff against male Greek enemies. The specific buff against Greek enemies isn't really worth talking about as there are very very few servants that this applies to most notably Herc, but what is worth talking about is just how strong of a buff this is in buster oriented teams. Since it shares the same uptime as Charisma and because both buffs stack multiplicatively, the two skills can be used together to provide a party wide 41% buff on a short cooldown. Finally, Eldorado Berserker packs a non damage buffing skill in Golden Rule. This iteration of the skill grants her complete debuff immunity for 3 turns and also a 20% NP charge per turn for 3 turns. This is a fantastic skill that allows Eldorado Berserker the ability to NP quickly and reliably without having to rely on craft essences like Kaleidoscope as much as other Berserkers. 
and combined with her naturally good NP gain, it is very possible to get multiple NPs out of her, a rarity for a Berserker. The debuff immunity also helps prevent any nasty attack downs or stuns from hitting her. When it comes to skill priority, I recommend Hal of the War God first for the team-wide damage buff, followed by Golden Rule for more reliable NP charge, and then Charisma last. Eldorado Berserker's Noble Phantasm is Outrage Amazon. It's a powerful single target attack that also decreases the attack of an enemy. The attack decrease is negligible, but the damage on this Noble Phantasm is not. Combined with all of Eldorado Berserker's other buffs, this Noble Phantasm can dish out damage comparable to the top tier 5 star Berserkers and should not be underestimated. As you can guess, Eldorado's biggest asset is her pure, relentless, high damage attacks. Imagine having one of the highest attack stats in the game for your rarity, with a full-on buster deck and a mana burst that is active at least 60% of the battle, and then you have Eldorado Berserker. Because of all of her short cooldown buffs, not only is her Noble Phantasm damage sky high, but her regular attacks also far eclipse all the other 4 star Berserkers, and thanks to Golden Rule, NP gain is never an issue like it is for the other Berserkers, allowing you to be much more flexible with your craft essence choices, or even possibly getting off multiple NPs. Aside from being a destructive force, Eldorado Berserker also fits into the niche of a buster support. Charisma and Howl of the War God are party buffs and they greatly improve the overall damage of the party when used together. Eldorado Berserker leans very hard into the strengths of the Berserker class, but by doing so she also falls hard into their weaknesses. Most notably, she is the most delicate of glass cannons. She has no way of protecting herself at all, and she has the HP stat of a 3 star. Even with the best supports and healers, it's very easy for her to die in a single turn to just some bad RNG from an enemy crit. She's also very one dimensional. Nothing in her kit is specialized to help her deal with more challenging enemies. She has no buff removal or ability to ignore defense or evade like some other berserkers do. Her only specialization is being anti-Greek male, and that's almost never relevant. Team-wise, Eldorado Berserker is your typical Buster Berserker, except even more fragile. She has more than enough buffs to keep her damage high, so what you should focus on primarily is pairing her with servants that can keep her alive. I really like Iris Field, Dayan, and Mosh as options for keeping her alive. Guts is very good on Berserkers since they can often be wiped out in one unlucky turn, and Iris Veal is queen of handing out Guts to servants. Similarly, Mosh has a targetable invincibility and a ton of defense buffs to ensure that Eldorado Berserker can stay alive for a long time. Dayan has one of the best taunts in the game and basically guarantees Berserker 3 damage free turns. You can also use Eldorado Berserker as a hybrid support for your other high damage buster servants. Personally, I suggest servants like Nobunaga, Sanzo, or Passion Lip. Nobu noticeably lacks buster and attack buffs of her own, despite being a buster servant, so the support from Berserker can greatly improve Nobu's damage without having to rely on crits. Sanzo and Passion Lip also benefit greatly from buster buffs, and both of them have taunts, which allows them to offer some level of protection for Berserker as well. Eldorado Berserker's Bondcraft Essence is Battle Sash of the War God. It increases buster card effectiveness of all allies by 20%, but lowers defense by 10%. Unless you're aiming for some kind of one turn kill setup, I don't recommend this craft essence. Berserker struggles enough to stay alive as it is, the last thing she needs is a defense down demerit. Instead, go for craft essences that can increase your overall damage. Golden Sumo, Limited Zero, and Brave Hero Liz are all good examples of damage CEs to use. Golden Sumo can really help out in shorter battles where you want to Noble Phantasm quickly, while Limited Zero and Brave Liz are better in longer fights where you want to maximize your damage per turn. If you're struggling to keep Berserker alive, then I recommend Valium and Hydragem, Necromancy, or March of the Saints. 
Necromancy is heavy on the RNG, but it can be clutch sometimes, and March of the Saints has good synergy with Golden Rule. Finally, for some future proofing, I highly recommend Bittersweet when it comes out in Valentine's 2021. It grants 2 hit invincibility and 25% extra NP damage, both things that greatly help out Eldorado Berserker. Overall, Berserker of Eldorado is the epitome of what it means to be a Berserker. She hits extremely hard, packing some of the best and most consistent buffs of any Berserker. She has fantastic NP charge thanks to Golden Rule. She has a Noble Phantasm that hits way above her rarity, competing with some 5 stars. And she provides strong team-wide buffs with low cooldowns. However, she's even more fragile than your average Berserker has a rather pointless and overly specific gimmick in her anti-Greek male skill, and provides little utility outside of damage buffs, which limits her usefulness in more difficult fights. Still though, at the end of the day, a Berserker is meant to be all about damage, and she excels in that category, so she gets an A- from me. It'd be nice if she had just a tiny bit more survivability, and maybe a better secondary effect on her third skill, but there's no denying that when it comes to consistency and damage potential, no other 4-star Berserker really holds a candle to her. And those are my thoughts on Berserker of Eldorado. Beautiful, strong, and business savvy. Some servants have it all. Remember to let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, check out my spotlight on Assassin of the Nightless City, the other 4-star we're getting with Agartha linked on screen and in the description below, and leave a like if you enjoyed the video and consider subscribing if you really enjoyed the video. Join the party over our Discord, chill with us on Twitch, and follow us on Twitter. And I'll see you all in the next Servant Spotlight. So Brony out, later.